Hi guys. Right, today we've got another bit of a science experiment, but hopefully a, a fun, messy one for you to do at home. Um, basically, we're going to make something called oobleck. Um, I'm not sure why it's called oobleck, but there was a, a Dr. Zeus book um, called Bartholomew and the oobleck, and it was like a gooey liquid substance that it's been named after. But anyway, oobleck. It is um, a substance that um, behaves like a liquid and also a solid at the same time. So you should know what a, a solid is. It's something that's hard and <coughs> keeps its shape and uh, a liquid um, can change shape. So if you pour it into a bottle, it will take the shape of the bottle. If you pour it into a bowl, it will take the shape of a bowl. And as I said, a solid. Um, keeps its shape and it doesn't change no matter what you do with it. So our experiment is making oobleck which can do both of those things. It can be a solid and it can be a liquid. So what you need for the experiment is some corn flour, uh, water and if you like a little bit of food dye. So you're going to need one part water to two parts corn flour. That's what I'm going to try anyway. I haven't tried this yet, so we'll we'll both find out. So we're going to try with one cup of corn flour. So fill your cup to the top. Hopefully, I've got enough. I'm going to go with that just in case. We have to do it again. So corn flour in. And then, I have forgotten something. You're going to have to stand by while I run and get a fork. Don't go anywhere. A fork. And I've got a spoon, just in cases. Okay, so we've got... Now we want to put half the amount of water. So we put a whole cup of corn flour. So we're going to put half a cup of water in. There it goes. I'm not going to put all mine in at once, just in case, okay? Because what we don't want is for it to be too runny. So stir that in. Right. So, oh, it feels very strange already. It's very odd to stir. Ooh. Okay, put a tiny bit more water in, but as I say, don't put all your all your water in at once. A little bit at a time. And I'm hoping that that is about the right consistency. Okay, now make it a different colour. Can you see? There it is. Ooh. Right, I've done it in a see-through bowl so you can see it, but you still can't see it, right? Right, a little bit of food dye. Let me get the top off. Let's drip that in. Ooh. Lovely. Let's stir it in. If we can get some colour going in there. I was hoping for more. I'm going to put some more in just for funsies. That is making it more liquidy, so I might have to add a little bit more corn flour. That's what I was looking for. Right, I'll show you what I've got. There we go. So you can see where it's separating a little bit. Does this look good? I think we'll put a bit more corn flour in. My assistant has just that's a lot. I want more colour. Alright. 
very hard to stir. Okay. I wouldn't call that too much. But, whoa, apparently that's right. All right then. There we have it. Right, here is what you can do with it. Now you've got it. <clears throat> Pull your sleeves up. And the first thing you can do with it is you can grab it. You can grab a big chunk in your hands and squeeze hard and you'll find that you can make a solid ball. Now that ball, which is solid, as you can see here, if you just hold your hands out, it will turn back into a liquid and just drip through your hands. Okay, get yourself a fork. You do all sorts with the fork. Now, if I push the fork in slowly, I can lift big bits of it up. You see? So it's behaving like a liquid, something that will move and change shape. Now, if I let that settle again, let's just watch it. Look at that. Now I'm going to take a different approach with the fork and I'm just going to jab it in there. And I can jab my fingers in. It's amazing stuff. Look at that. And back to a liquid. By hitting it with something else. Cup. And go through. Rock hard. Let's try slowly pushing it in. And it's moving it, although not as well as the fork. I think the fork works much better. Yeah. I like picking it up. It feels great. Look, it's almost crumbly. Look at that. Crumbly and then. And then it's gooey. And we're back to our liquid. Amazing stuff. So let me show you again. Our ball, okay? Looks like a dry, hard ball. As you can see in my hands. Now, as soon as you let go and open your hands, it will just drizzle back into a liquid. You see? And even when you pull it off your hands, it comes off. Like it's hard. But if you look at it in the bowl, it looks gooey. So, if you fancy making a mess and learning some science at the same time, I suggest you get yourself some corn flour and water, maybe a little bit of food dye, and have some fun with Ublek. See you later.